Hey everyone, as Christmas is fast approaching, I thought what's better than baking some treats for the holidays? This recipe that I found online uses an enriched dough. So let's get into the holiday baking with some cinnamon rolls. All right guys, so to start this recipe, we're going to be using half a cup of sour cream, and this just helps to enrich the dough and make it really moist. Then we're gonna go in and add half a cup of milk. I'm using 2%. Then we're gonna give this a quick whisk. And pop it in the microwave for 30 second increments. We're trying to warm up the milk and sour cream mixture so that when we add in our butter, it melts as we whisk. So I warmed up the milk for two bursts of 30 seconds. It's now warm enough that I can add in my six tablespoons of soft butter. The butter is slowly dissolving as I mix. You can always pop it back in the microwave to help this along. At this point, I'm okay with it, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my quarter cup of white sugar and quarter cup of brown sugar. And I'm just gonna mix this through until it's completely dissolved, the sugar and the butter. From here, I'm now gonna add in two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Give it a mix, and I'm gonna put this aside to bloom. And that's just to help the yeast activate. So moving on to my dry ingredients, using a scale and my food processor bowl, I'm measuring out three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So on the scale, that would be about 420 grams of flour, and then I'm gonna keep a little bit on the side for dusting the work area for later. So next, I'm adding one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of nutmeg. Pinch, I mean, as much as you like. <laughs> and we're now gonna throw this into the food processor for a quick mix. And you can see here, I'm just pulsing it a couple times. Okay, so now that it's been about 10 minutes, we can go back to the wet ingredients and we can see that our yeast has bloomed. So we're gonna add in one large egg. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. and give this a quick whisk to combine all the ingredients. So back to the food processor, we're gonna get this started. We're gonna combine our liquid into our dry ingredients. And here we go, I'm just pouring it through the chute at the top. So it's just a continuous pour, I'm letting the food processor do the work of combining it all. So 
So this is the dough consistency we're looking for after having it blend in the food processor. So I've sprinkled a little flour onto the countertop and now I'm just going to go ahead and knead the dough for just a little bit until it gets a springy consistency when I poke the dough. Okay, so I'm happy with where this dough is at. I'm going to take a bowl and give it a light spray of some oil so that the dough doesn't stick. And I'm gonna put this in and cover it up with a cloth and let it sit somewhere warm for about two hours or so. So it's been about three hours. The dough has risen. It's ready to um, roll out and continue the process. But before we do that, I'm going to make our cinnamon and butter spread. So taking half a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, half a cup of butter, and this is soft butter so that it is very spreadable when we roll out our dough. We're gonna give this a mix. So next, I'm going to punch the air out of the dough. I'm going to prep by sprinkling a little flour onto the counter. Roll out the dough and try and get it into a rectangular shape so that it is ready to go when we put our spread on and easier to roll later. So taking the cinnamon spread, I'm going to put a little bit in each section 
to make it easier for spreading. And doing my best, just going to evenly spread this out onto the dough. I don't know what it is about this step, but there's something so therapeutic about just spreading this onto the dough. Like I could do a hundred of these and have no complaints. All right, moving on, we're going to start rolling the dough and you wanna make sure that these are tight, even rolls. So I'm just gonna take my time and work my way across the dough. And you wanna even out the log, making sure that the middle isn't too fat. If you notice that's a thing, you can just sort of work it out and sort of make it a nice even log. And using this trick that I found online through this recipe, you can take some dental floss and shimmy it underneath the log and start cutting so that the dough doesn't squish as a knife would. I love this hack and I will be using it every single time I make cinnamon rolls. This makes about 10 nice pieces of cinnamon rolls. I think the best baking pan to use for this is a nine by nine baking dish so that they can be the nice, fluffy, pull apart cinnamon rolls that we're looking for. I unfortunately didn't have that dish that I recommend, so I did use something larger and I put all the pieces that I had into it. So it's a little more spaced out than I would have liked but the taste will still be there. If you want to make these overnight rolls, um, you can cover it with some tin foil and just place it in the refrigerator. And then in the morning, you can take these out, pop them in somewhere warm again um, to help them rise before popping them in the oven. And I would leave these to rise for about an hour or so.
So we're back. It's the next day. I've given the cinnamon rolls a chance to rise after coming out of the fridge, and I've popped them in the oven to bake. And while we do that, I figured we should make our cream cheese glaze. So, grabbing the food processor once again, I'm adding one tablespoon of milk, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of butter, four ounces of cream cheese, one teaspoon of lemon juice, and two cups of powdered sugar. I went and added one cup first to see how sweet it was, then I went back in and added my second cup, which I added off camera. Then I'm gonna turn on my food processor and give this a mix. And then as soon as the rolls are out of the oven, I'm going to add the cream cheese icing to the rolls As it is the holidays, I wanted to add some red and green sprinkles for a little festive touch and some extra icing. All right, and that's a wrap on the cinnamon rolls. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you wanna see more videos like this, head on over to my channel to get the latest videos. Until next time, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the kitchen.